What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Mario here from MFN Productions. I'm here today with another tutorial using the Final Cut Pro. And today guys, I'm going to show you how can you remove the noise from your videos. Uh, usually the noise happens when you film in uh, really low light situations. Uh, and it's really frustrating when you finish your work and you are looking on the computer and you see just it's a lot of noise. But with this plugin that I'm going to show you how to install it, uh, it's really easy and really simple to remove the, the noise. Of course, it will not be perfect because it will be always a few imperfections that can be noticeable, uh, but at least it will help and it's the quickest way for you to uh, basically just remove all the noise from your video. Um, let's start from the beginning. I have it here a um, few clips that I was filming a few days ago, actually two days ago, um, in an event that did happen here in Scotland every single year from October to November, uh, that is the Enchanted Forest. Uh, is a beautiful event that I completely recommend if you guys visit Scotland during this time of the year um, to go and visit this place because it's really stunning. It was the first time that I have been there and I was fascinated with the, with the colors, with everything, with the sounds all around the space. It's really worth it. Um, so, first of all, you need to install the Magic Bullet. I have it here already. But you just need to go to the website that I have it here right now to Red Giant. On the Red Giant, you need to download this uh, package. You can, you can download the entire package that will include more than one plugin. It includes all these plugins here. The one that I'm talking about is the Magic Bullet Denoiser 3. I know that it, it, it's a little bit pricey, but Anyway, guys, if you do a lot of editing and if you sell your videos uh, the way I do, because, well, MFN Productions is not just a, a channel on YouTube. It's my company as a self-employed. I have my daily, my daily job, but as well, uh, I work as a self-employed and I own the company MFN Productions. Uh, so I need to, to have these kind of tools to deliver like a really nice footage to my customers. So, once you install, you have a free tri a trial, by the way, that you can actually try and see if you enjoy and see any difference. Um, and if you actually would be interested, you can just purchase the license that will give you the right to use the entire software. So, once installed, you just open the Final Cut Pro. And on the Final Cut Pro, you will just drag one of the videos that you want to uh, do to take the noise away uh, into this place here on the effects we just choose the effects I, I choose it already anyway uh, go to magic bullet and on a magic bullet you can see all the plugins that is the ones that includes on that package that I was showing you guys and mm -hmm. um, the one that I, I'm talking right now is this one here the denoiser 3 so I'm going to drag this one into this video here. Um, as you could notice, here was a little bit noise. You see, you straight away can notice the difference. I'm going to give a little bit zoom. Wait, no, under 50. So, do you see, denoiser. And it blends, it gives like a really nice look. Uh, for me, at uh, right now, it looks still a little bit blurry uh, because it's too high here, the levels. So I'm just going to drop a little bit the levels down. Well, it's too much now. Until you are happy um, with the result. Um, Okay, this one is okay. As I said, it will never make like the video perfect because the noise is already there and it was already filmed like that. Even this video was shot in a really good lens that is the Sigma 14 millimeter, 14 24 millimeters. 
uh, f 2.8 is a really good lens from sigma from the art group the art lens uh, is good for the videographers but most used for the photographers uh, but i was i was giving a try because i heard that was a really good lens for the low light and definitely it was a really good lens even if it was all that noise let me just put it back even if it was that noise but that it was just shoot like without any other lights on uh, it was just a high so that was a little bit higher that's the reason why as well was a little bit noisy because I was shooting in a 4k quality and the high was really really high and I didn't notice so it was a mistake from my side because when you are looking on the camera uh, what you see on the screen you never think that actually it's noisy because the screen is really really small from the camera um, after when you upload the video to the computer you can see all the noise um, oh wait, something here uh, okay um, so yeah so as you can see the difference you notice straight away especially here this is like from the water that was splashed uh, while that was a projection uh, anyway I'm going to upload the videos uh, about this event uh, in a couple days so you guys can see this event uh, in few minutes because I will not put all the event but at least I will choose the best parts of this event so yeah, so that is how it works, the denoiser. It's really simple. After you just can go and make the colors more smooth and to look at more natural, and preserve the detail. So you just work all with that. But what I recommend you guys is that you go to this website and at least use the free trial. You don't have anything to lose and you can see how it goes if you really like the the plugin and if you like and if you are interested just go ahead and just get it so because it will give you a really nice result right now it is now dropping because it's like other things on the background but anyways because it's rendering as well um, yeah so that's it. That is how it works, the denoiser. If you have any questions about this plugin in particular, just leave a comment. If you have other questions, just leave a comment as well. If you want to see any other tutorials, if you want me to explain some other tutorials, just like feel free. I will be uploading anyway uh, more tutorials uh, on my channel for you guys to see how I edit my stuff, how I do all my stuff. This is one way to do it, like in a simple way. It can be done as well using the color board. Uh, that will be basically, you will manipulate the exposure, the saturation, and all that will as well get rid of some of the noise. Because the noise many times is because of too much ISO that was on the time when you were filming. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to put the thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe please don't forget to subscribe for more updates and more videos like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time guys